Hello friends, it's Crispy from the Saskatoon Public Library, coming to you from Treaty 6 territory. And today, we're here for quiet, sleepy story time. So we're gonna sing, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Are you ready? Hello friends, hello. still going to read you a story. I've picked out one for you right here. I like to go to the library and look at the picture books. Some of them have very interesting covers and some of them have very good stories. Some of them have both. Now, sometimes when we're small or even when we're big, we like things the same way. This story is called Same Way Ben. Do you ever do things the same? Every time you do them, or like to have things just so, Benjamin likes this. And this is by Marianne Coco Lefleur. Coco Lefleur, perhaps. So there's Ben, and what is he doing? Oh, he's coloring. Sometimes we like things just as we like them, and that's okay. Mm. Ben is one of those someones. He likes to do things just the same. Ben liked things the same way every day. When Ben dressed for school, he always wore his favorite overalls with his red striped shirt. There we go. When he got off the bus, his teacher, Mrs. Garcia, always patted his head and said, hello, buddy. Isn't that nice? Look, there's Mrs. Garcia. Now you may notice something about Mrs. Garcia. She's gonna have a baby. It's a secret. Well, it's not a secret, but the book hasn't told us yet. We're just supposed to look with our eyes and think about what we see. Ben sat at the same green table with his best friend, Cammy, and he always ate chicken strips and a shiny apple for lunch. Life was the same every day until, what do you think changed? Remember Mrs. Garcia? Do you think she's going to be there every day? Or will she maybe be with her baby? So here's something new until it wasn't. Look, hello, Benjamin. Ben looked up. It was Mr. Elliot, the music teacher. Ben didn't like to be called Benjamin. If Mrs. Garcia weren't here, were here, she would know that. In the classroom, Mr. Elliot made an announcement. I will be your teacher for the next six weeks. Mrs. Garcia had a baby. It's a boy. His name is Brody. Everyone cheered, except Ben. Oh, oh dear. Why is Ben upset? Next, Mr. Elliot passed out paper and paints. He played loud music. Listen to the music and paint what you hear, he told the class. Mrs. Garcia never plays music what in the morning time said ben we always have reading time first benjamin today we are changing things up said mr elliot ben didn't like music in the morning if mrs garcia were here she would know that well but ben still sat at the same green table and he played with his friend cammy and ate chicken strips for lunch life was almost the same until it wasn't on monday Mr. Elliot moved all the tables around. Cammy went and sat at the yellow table. Mrs. Garcia never moves the table, said Ben. The green table is always in the corner near the cubbies. Benjamin, today we are changing things up, said Mr. Elliot. But Ben didn't like it when the tables were moved. If Mrs. Garcia were here, she would know that. Oh, we're having some special guests for lunch, said Mr. Elliot. I made us blueberry and cream cheese bagels to share. Ben just stood in the middle of the classroom. He didn't know what to do, where to sit or, or what to eat. Suddenly, he said, oh, My name is not Benjamin. I want to sit with Cammy at the green table. I want to eat chicken strips and an apple for lunch. And I want Mrs. Garcia. And Ben began to cry. Then he felt a pat on his head. Hello, Ben, buddy. 
Mrs. Garcia, you're here. I'm just visiting for lunch. Today, I wanted the class to meet Brody. There's Mrs. Garcia with her baby. Oh, isn't that nice? Mrs. Garcia, I miss you, Ben said. Nothing is the same. Mr. Elliot is changing everything. Mrs. Garcia leaned in. Can I tell you a secret? My new baby has changed everything for me. He did, said Ben. But guess what, said Mrs. Garcia. Changes make life exciting, like an adventure. Oh, have you ever thought of that? Change is like an adventure. Mrs. Garcia noticed Ben's painting on the board. <clears throat> ben, is this yours? It's beautiful. We painted to music, said Ben. Well, we never did that before, said Mrs. Garcia. Are you becoming a, a and you are becoming a very good artist. Ma'am? Ben looked at his painting and smiled. Mrs. Garcia handed Ben a bagel. Let's have lunch together. Ben took a nibble and then a larger bite. And then he ate the whole thing. I didn't know you liked blueberry and cream cheese bagels, Mrs. Garcia said. I didn't know either, said Ben. The next day, Ben wore his favorite overalls with a blue shirt. Oh, that's different. He sat at the yellow table with his friends Cammie and Poppy, and he ate pizza for lunch. And before he knew it, Mrs. Garcia was back for good. But for Ben, life was never the same. It was now an adventure. Oh, isn't that nice? Change is an adventure. What an interesting way to think of that. Hmm, I think I will have to think of it like that. Change is an adventure. Ooh, here comes a ukulele. It's time for a song. My songbook is on the floor, so I have to reach way down. <clears throat> now, at the end of the day around my house, I like to try and think of the wonderful things from the day. Maybe new things, maybe things we always have liked. And I like to think, zippity doo da, zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine coming my way. grateful for today and we'll take turns thinking of something that we're grateful for. Sometimes the things we're grateful for are things that we do every day. I'm grateful for having our family. Or sometimes they're new things. I'm grateful that I tried pizza for lunch. It was good and I didn't expect it. So that's maybe something you can think about when you're having a little quiet time. Now I did have another little story about being outside. It's called In the Red Canoe. Here it is. I like to go to the library and find new books. And this is one I found. It's by Leslie A. Davidson and Laura Bilfano. I like to try to say new names when I do story times. Here we go. In the Red Canoe. Oh, Leslie wrote it and Laura illustrated it. I like to go in the red canoe. I sit low in the bow. I can paddle by myself. My grandpa taught me how. We don't say much, we mostly look. He shows me everything. The watery world goes sliding by. Our paddles dip and swing. Have you ever paddled a canoe? He points out trees that beavers chew. He knows just where they go. Their lodges heaped up by the shore with tunnels deep below. 
Look, there's the beaver lodge. Swimming round the red canoe are schools of fish fry. Grandpa holds me while I lean to catch them flashing by. Fish fry, little baby fishies. We paddle up to baby ducks who quickly turn around. They motorboat their little legs and make a splashy sound. Green lily pads like floating hearts hold yellow flowers up and dragonflies with shiny wings rest on those petal cups. We find a place to hunt for frogs, a secret muddy beach. How do they always know how to stay just one hop out of reach? An osprey's wings beat like a fan. She circles, then she stops. Grandpa and I, we hold our breath when in a flash she drops. Her mighty talons to grip a fish. We laugh to see her rise. Water droplets, soaring bird, slippery silver prize. Sunset time is swallow hour. We drift along the shore. First one, then two, swoop overhead, then more and more and more. I love to watch the swallows dance, my head on grandpa's knee. In my dreams, I fly with them. Do swallows dream of me? Sometimes we paddle in the dark on still and starlit nights. A lantern sits upon the bow, the, mate, the lake a million lights because it reflects the stars. Gentle waves, a loon's wild call. We rock and dream and float. I shiver right down to my bones. There's magic near our boat. I wish upon the shining moon that there will always be Grandpa and the Red Canoe, soft summer night, nights, and me. I would be grateful if that was my day. I would be grateful for time spent on the lake with my grandpa. I have one more song because that book showed us the very pretty sparkles in the sky, right? What do we call those sparkles in the sky other than magic? Stars, oops, there we go. Oh, my book is not cooperating. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. to have spent some story time with you. Thank you for coming. I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, friends.